Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ruby and let's check out what's in the news today. First up, we are taking a stroll down the red carpet and checking out what went down at the world's biggest music awards. This award in it's the Grammys. Everyone's favourite event to see a bunch of people win miniature gold gramophones. Also known as the music industry's Night of Nights. Some of the most famous artists in the world strutted their stuff on the red carpet in LA. But if you're not sure you're going to win an award, you can always come dressed as one. With the Grammy, of course. Although nothing could upstage Cardi B. Most of the awards were actually handed out before the premiere event, including to Ariana Grande, who won her first ever Grammy for Best Pop Vocal Album, even if she wasn't there to accept it. The night was more about showcasing performances like these. Dua Lipa won for uh, Best New Artist. The Grammy goes. And Album two. of the Year went to Casey Musgraves. Golden Hour Casey Musgraves! A huge night with some unforgettable moments. Now let's move on from some winners to some more winners, because there are quite a few peeps around at the moment who are hashtag winning. First up, Australia's 2019 Eurovision contestant, Kate miller Heitke. On the weekend, she showed us what she's made of in the Australia Decides final, and Australia decided it was impressed. This year is the first year our contestants been chosen by the public, rather than a panel of experts. Kate will be heading over to Israel in May for the comp. Our next big winner, Spider-Man. Well, the people who brought him to life in his latest film anyway. Into the Spider-Verse just took out Best Animated Film at Britain's biggest film awards, The Baptist. My name is Peter Parker. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. I saved the city, fell in love, then I saved the city again and again and again. Some Aussies walked away with wins too. Tony McNamara got Best Original Screenplay for The Favourite and Fiona Crombie won Best Production Design for the same movie. Whatever I was doing when I was 14 years old, it was nowhere near as impressive as what ridiculous overachiever Marseille Martin is up to right now. She's just become the youngest person ever to sign a first look deal with a major Hollywood studio. You might recognise Marseille from the TV show Blackish. I panicked and sent some random emojis that ended with a New Zealand flag and a Steve Harvey moustache. She's already got a movie in the works too, a comedy she's starring in and producing. Told you she's an overachiever. Do you know what an AP culturist is? Well, you're about to find out, because some kids down in Tassie are learning how to be them. There's a real buzz happening in Tasmania right now, because it's home to Australia's only junior beekeeping club. Here you can see the busy bees learning to extract honey. They're being trained to become the next generation of Aussie beekeepers. We like to teach the children virtually from the life cycle of the bee right through to the pollination and then on to honey. Bees are really important because it's thought they pollinate around 70 crop species, which is believed to feed around 90% of the world's. So, how do bees make honey? To make it, they actually eat, they eat the pollen and throw it up and then another bee eats it and throws it up and moves it up through the hives and they all work together to make it. Um, I don't want to be thinking about that the next time I put honey on my toast. Still tastes awesome though, hey. The next challenge? Raising money to fly to Slovakia in Europe. They're hoping to become the first Aussies to take part in an international beekeeping competition. Honestly, these guys really are the bee's knees. And to cap off the day, we are going to meet the Newport Police Force's latest recruit, six-year-old Abigail from Texas. I was super happy. Right now, Abigail is battling cancer. And when the local police chief heard about how brave she's been and her dreams of becoming a cop, he decided to bring her on board as an honorary officer. But her spirit, her toughness, her heart, the will to win and to survive. Abigail was given her own tiny uniform. It, it actually feels good. And she had a lot of fun reporting for duty. Thanks for watching today's show, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you're already subscribed, hit that bell button so you'll know every time we drop something new.